All right, Kryptonaut. So if you're looking for good prices on motherboards from Amazon, you can get on the recommendation email notification list. Just go in and just sign up or check the box. Say send me recommendations or email preferences. You will start getting recommendations in your email in inbox. It, you know, it, it won't be spam. You'll get maybe one or one or two a day with recommendations. And I've been getting this one today on MSI and other motherboards. And it's kind of interesting because it would give you an idea of what's out there, what you can buy, and uh, maybe some possible deals for you. Because some boards are getting over 100 bucks, and I, that gets a little too much, I think. Uh, I personally want to stay below 100 bucks, so here we can look at this one. This is the MSI Pro Series AMD Ryzen 2nd and 3rd Gen, so that's good. You can put an AMD Ryzen 2nd or 3rd Gen CPU on there. And that's $89.99. Let's look at it for a sec. It's got one, two, three, five PCI slots. So not bad. Just to get you up and running, 89 bucks, MSI. I do like the MSI brands. I like their, uh, I like their uh, BIOS interface. Having dealt with the Asus interface, I like the MSI one better. <laughs> I think it's more intuitive and better laid out. So here you go. You can get the MSI Pro Series. MSI Pro Series B450A Pro Max. And it's, uh, if you zoom in on these things, I always read the small print. If I can get this, there we go. Ah, it doesn't go any longer like that. It just says uh, 3000 series ready, so you can you can slap in your uh, Ryzen 9 3900 and be ready to roll. Uh, but I usually get these MSI boards, and I'll check the BIOS through hardware info or um, the BIOS. Uh, interface and then I'll go to the website the MSI support site for this uh, motherboard whatever motherboard you had for works for any brand and then you check the uh, BIOS version and then you can say well do I want to upgrade the BIOS and the the, uh, the MSI boards I get I just tend to upgrade them so they're all in the, the latest uh, BIOS firmware flash whatever I, I flash them and it's uh, it's good to go at least I know it has all the PCIe support and I'm not rolling out any unknowns by not having the latest, the latest and greatest BIOS on uh, the BIOS uh, version on my motherboard. All right, so there's that one. Let's see where am I at here. Now we're getting up in price. We have the uh, Asus ROG Strix. I do have this one. I did. Yeah, I did get this one for some reason. I have no idea why. Let me show you this guy. I did get this one. It's a beefy motherboard because, look, it's got that whole beefy thing right there because the reason is, oh, uh, where is it? I thought this one had built-in Wi-Fi. Maybe that's the 550. Maybe I have the 550. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, that must be the 550. Okay, let's go back. So that's 139, 119. This is the, what is this one? It's a B450 Gaming Plus motherboard. And here's the other pro tip I always push in some of my videos is you can download or install this extension on your Chrome or Brave browser. It's the Capital One shopping extension. And it'll go out there and find cheaper prices for you if there are any. Uh, and there's some, like, this is just rewards. So if you want to deal with rewards, that's okay. But some of it's eBay. You can get the stuff cheaper elsewhere, Newegg or eBay. Mostly eBay. And it's the same thing. It's the same product. It's new. Let's go back. Here we go. The old Asus B450M. 
79 bucks. And these are all AMD, okay. So no Intels. This is the Gigabyte B450A Aurora's Pro Wi-Fi. 109, yeah, over the 100 park. Stay, stay below 100 bucks, here we go. Gigabyte, 69 bucks. There's a Gigabyte B450, 89 bucks. Tough Gaming, Asus. That's a little price out. Wow, that's, now we're getting up here. X, X570. See, I have the 470s. I wonder if they stop making the 470s for the 570s. Now, I don't know, because I like the 470s. All right, here's an MSI Arsenal. See, we're getting up in price now. So I like the Stavia, though, the hundreds. Here we go. But I like MSI, though. I like the MSI brand. I mean, because with these, you can run. Say there's only five or even three. I have an old ASRock motherboard with three PCIe slots. I put in two, one to four splitters, and I have uh, six cards off it. You know, I don't know. Is that what I got? I got one. I got four off the one card and two off the other. Yeah, off an old ASRock 2013 motherboard running an old Intel i5 core, I think, or something like that. But, yeah, you don't need that super beefy card. You can get the splitters and get six GPUs, and I think six GPUs per rig is, is pretty much a nice manageable setup uh, you can easily get over some of the bios hurdles or some of the some of the tricks you got to do in the bios like the csm disable and enable for crypto and stuff like that and the pcie gen 2 settings you just got to set that and then you should be good to go to, good to go with six gpus without an issue and that's good enough per rig i don't know why you want to go anymore um that's my advice so go on down here's a way so go to amazon you can um Set up your preferences to read, uh, to receive um, recommendations based on what you've been looking at, what you've been browsing. Because they know you've been, they know what you're doing. They're tracking everything you do, every mouse movement, where your mouse hangs out, where you click, what you type, how long you stay on a page. Uh, your total behavior is tracked by Amazon. There, there's no, nothing left to guess about what your behavior is in buying and checking out. They got you. So they send you these recommendations. And they're spot on most times. I mean, you get some good, decent recommendations. So here you go. There's 79. Yeah, Asus is okay. Their, their, BIOS, their BIOS interface is a bit... It's not intuitive to me. Maybe because I haven't used it. But they do have the nice feature where you can search. You can search for, say, PCIe. And then it gives you all the, all the um, related items for PCIe on the motherboard. So that way you don't have to keep drilling down through all the menus and somebody is trying to find each one you just search for it set your set your uh, desired settings and you're good to go but i still like msi a lot better 100 percent better well, let's see what else we so i've gotten this one yeah i've gotten this these emails and i think they're useful uh, otherwise you'll spend all day mining but you can also uh, i have stuff set up too where i'm i'm just kind of price monitoring some of these items on my writing a little python script and then i just get alerts of what the prices are and i can go nah so it's i do it because then i get it sent right to me versus email i know it's the same difference but i can set filters and stuff on the prices like if i say any msi motherboard under 100 bucks pop that up on my discord and on the discord i can go check and say oh yeah that's cool so i like that so in my discord which is in the description below i do a lot of uh, product tracking price tracking ebay price tracking new egg price tracking uh just a whole bunch of stuff and even stuff that's been out of stock comes in i send out an alert and i've been working on that script trying to make it a little more timely like even i do the the uh, real test is like ps5s and xboxes i just do that because those are top notch difficult items to get so i i have those popping up on my discord as well it just in addition to uh motherboards gpus and amd cpus and intel cpus uh just all the stuff i care about but we can always expand on that as the discord grows so there you go that's all i got we're 10 minutes in just thought this would be something useful to people uh, if you're scouring for stuff there are still there are still decent prices out there on stuff you need just to get up in mining you don't need the heavy lifting stuff uh, you don't need to spend 500 bucks. God, do not spend more than 100 bucks on a motherboard. 
and just get the basic CPU. All you just need the thing to do is boot up and then plug in your uh, GPUs and you're good to go. Now, if you're on CPU mining, you want to get the uh, CL14 3200 DDR memory and the Ryzen 9 3900, stuff like that. That, that gets, you know, th that's performance. And then you want to overclock those as well, just like you overclock a GPU. And that's using, um, uh, what is that thing called? AMD Master Overclock Tuner thingy. And you set the uh, gigahertz and the voltage, and you're off, off to the races. And that's a whole different beast. Um, but... Yeah, for just GPU mining, get a basic motherboard under her box, and you're good to go. I like Amazon, because if you do have trouble with the board, they just take it right back and give you another one. <laughs> and I feel bad because I would sent one back, and it was my monitor was the problem. The Asus motherboard was perfectly fine. It's just my stupid monitor wouldn't recognize or wouldn't come up. It worked fine as a tri-head. Like right here, you're looking right now. I got three displays up. But uh, when it was just trying to hook into the HDMI port and a motherboard, and it had built-in graphics. It wasn't discrete. It just wouldn't. Um, it just wouldn't come to life. I, then I tried it on another mon monitor. Um, another monitor, and all was good. I sent it back. They sent me a new one. So I knew it was something else other than the motherboard. But point being, Amazon will take your items back and send you a new one. All right, that is all I got. Thought it'd be a useful a video. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you're finding other stuff out there, finding cheaper places. Um, I don't like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or I don't anywhere you have to meet people. I don't want to do that. I mean, some people are more braver than me and I just don't want to have to deal with the hassle of thinking the guy's going to show up. Is what he said he's going to sell work? He's going to knife me. You know, you just don't know. In today's world, it's every, it's everything's upside down. It's lawlessness is the norm and everything else. It's just we're in bizarro land right now. So that's why I like keeping it non-personal. <laughs> and going to Amazon or Newegg or something and just getting what I need and shipping it to me. UPS is my best friend and Amazon. <laughs> All right, I'm out. All right, take care. I'm gone. Boom.